Today in Missouri, President Obama declared the economy is moving in the right direction. But many people say the president's new health care law is sending it in the wrong direction. Chief Washington correspondent Jim Engel breaks down the numbers. President Obama made one unshakable pledge about the health care bill. I will not sign it if it adds one dime to the deficit now or in the future, period. But it took some financial tricks to keep that pledge. For instance, the bill originally included money to prevent Medicare doctors from suffering a scheduled 21 percent cut in fees. But it cost too much, $275 billion. So the way they solved that is they simply pulled out the deficit increasing part of the bill, which is the so-called Medicare doc fix. That's a pretty hefty price tag, and not shockingly, they left it completely out of health care reform, choosing to ignore this big bill. Congress won't ever let the fee cut take effect because seniors would be outraged. But the cost of $275 billion eclipses the projected savings in the law, about $140 billion, meaning the doc fix alone would push the cost $135 billion into the red, breaking the president's pledge. But that wasn't the only financial shortcut. The law also added dozens of other things, but Congress didn't appropriate a single dollar to pay for them. The Congressional Budget Office says paying for all the things Congress ordered would add as much as another $115 billion to the deficit, driving the total red ink up to $250 billion over the first 10 years. Yeah, what you have to remember is there's 30 million more people who are insured at that point. More people will get coverage, but that too threatens to add to the deficit. The, the cost per capita of health care coverage in the United States will drop. But more of it will be covered by Washington. Lawmakers are still arguing over whether the new law will improve health care or make it worse, but it seems clear it will not reduce spending either for the nation or the federal government. In Washington, Jim Angle.